is Madden NFL 24, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's all up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Kansas City. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes not wasting time, he'll throw. And his throw is incomplete. Nice play on the football, and while it was tipped in the air, it made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground. You just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. And despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. Another throw on second down one incomplete as well. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. That is incomplete. I see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And taken right at the 35. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at their own 42. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And some room to maneuver. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. All right, I've got to be careful here, all right? He's on the plus side of 30. There may be a little gray in the beard, but that's not slowing down his feet as far as he's concerned. What are you saying? I'm on the plus side of 30. Well, if you're on the plus side of 30, you all know what I'm on the plus <laughs> side of. All I know is that run right there, let us know there's still some life in those legs. Absolutely, still got a lot of life left in those legs. And he'll get it inside the 35. Holding offense. So that time they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Second 
Second and 16. Now to him. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. This is second and eight. On the ground, this is Devon Achan. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. A perfect example right there, Charles, of why they love this rookie runner. And think about how the NFL and the college games are meshing together more and more. You don't have to go to the NFL and learn a new set of skills. What you did in college often makes you ready for the NFL. Mostert. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. From the two now, second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Alec Ingold taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Boy, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at <laughs> all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Mahomes now to throw. His throw is going to be incomplete. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. Even keeping the back in for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. 
44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Here's Barrios. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. And Hill is going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll be brought down at the 37. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Tua wants to throw it on second down. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up front his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Tua looking to throw on third and two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Tua on the bootleg here. This is caught. And the Dolphins are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Tua to throw again. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Braxton Berrios from a yard out. And the Dolphins have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, Defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. It's on the ground. A call in luck 
of skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Four yards to pick up, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, you can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Connection made on the out route to Valdez Scantling. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. This a second and seven from the 37. They go play fake. Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and broad. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. But well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Rice. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they get five there on fourth and three. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, second down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it, you're exactly right. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Throwing is Mahomes on third. 
He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. Right hash, 37-yard attempts. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first down coming up. Here's H.A. to start the drive. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. He was brought down by Mike Edwards. An eight-yard gain brings up second down at the 19-yard line. A second and 11 from the 19. Motion man is Barrios. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Now he's free to midfield. He'll shedding the tackle, and he'll be taken down at the 26. It's a big play there for Miami, 55 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Flush to his right. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On play action, here's Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one goes for 24 yards. And he'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Durham Smythe from three yards out. And the Dolphins have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 21 to nothing. Chiefs, nothing.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. They go play action. Now Mahomes. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. Sacked by Andrew Van Ginkle. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Mahomes. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Dolphins. Second down and a yard. On play action, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Pacheco. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are able to cut into that deficit. That seemed like a much needed touchdown after 21 unanswered points to start the game. It's not often that you equate a football game to a golf tournament, but it's like you don't want to shoot yourself out of the tournament too early. So they needed that touchdown to make sure that they got an opportunity to not just get back into this game, but a chance to win it later if they continue to play well. Extra point by Butker is on target, and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Now, 
after the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A run with Mostert up the middle. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. This now a third and four. Looking to pass to a Throw to the right, taken in by Barrios. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Partner, we always talk about how important third down is, but I think first down is equally important because Everything comes off of that play. If the defense wins the down, they were able to attack. If the offense wins the down, they might go faster, do other things, and change things up. That big play right there allows this offense to really get in gear. And he's got this down to the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Ball on the 27. Here's second down and one. Two are going to throw. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Two and now on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. Tua hit, and the ball is out. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, we've got an injured player here as well. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Coming off a touchdown drive, the last time they had the ball, that cut down the lead. Now the defense does their part, got them the football back. So now maybe with the touchdown they scored previously, plus their defense making that stand up and getting the ball right back, 
Momentum may be shifting in their favor. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Mahomes now on first down. That ball caught. It's Rice. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edward Delaire. But he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. becomes a 21-14 ball game now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And here comes Raheem Mostert in the Miami offense. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. Tua sets up to pass it. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They hand it off to Mostert. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Tongue of Ilo to throw. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Second and three at the 
Throwing now is Tungabailoa. On target over the middle of the hill. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 36. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and 10. Here's Tua. seconds of the first half and the Dolphins would extend their lead here just before halftime that's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here Sanders on for the extra point He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And they've got the lead CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Meanwhile, Tua's throw is taken in by Waddle. 
And Waddle going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Tua. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. Well, you could almost see his eyes light up defensively. I mean, as a linebacker, that's about as quick as you can get to a quarterback. So what did your third grade teacher teach you about straight lines, right? As soon as you have those, you take full advantage of them. He found a gap in the offensive line, got to the quarterback, and put him on the deck. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. On third down, HM. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Call it a gain of five, fourth down now. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime, but the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. Mahomes will try again on second down. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there at a first down. The teams have a tough time running the ball as this one has throughout this game. It's so easy to just say, forget it. Let's throw the football. But that's exactly why you stay with the running game. Eventually, you stick with it. You make some adjustments. You often find ways to run the ball better as the game goes on. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game. But it falls down to the ground incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well, I think Lady Luck was on his side. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 27 yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
accuracy, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That is caught by Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chiefs have got it back to within a score. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that was good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they're within seven now at 28-21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Miami set to take over. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 77 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chiefs offense set to go. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, but the same tempo, the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did.
So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 32-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as a tackle made at the 18. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Finds a tight end in the middle of the field. Just a simple stick route. Decent gain. Doesn't get you a whole lot, but it's pretty reliable, isn't it? And tough to defend. Mahomes to throw once more. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so hard to stop. And that's where it really becomes difficult because you're exactly right. They know it's going to him, yet they still can't stop it. That tells you when you're a dominant player. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Jalen Waddle, the speedster wide receiver, brings out this offense. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. On play action, here's Tua. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Out of the gun, here's a give to Achan. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Two and now on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10.
Looking to pass to him. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They have certainly looked his way in this third quarter. Another catch, and it's good for a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Another catch there for Waddle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get-it-in-space-and-make-a-play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short gain. Now a second and two. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Play action. Now it's Tua. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. That's going to be knocked away. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. On third down, it's Pacheco. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Again, it's Pacheco. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. Now second and three. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. I know at times today's NFL sure feels like everything's about the guy throwing the football. But if you had a guy who can run it and move it and gain this type of yardage, he'll take him each and every time. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That was a terrific play, causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. To throw, it's Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. A 
anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now here's Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for it. Just outside the 20-yard line. Jalen Waddle running out, and that means that the Dolphins ready for another drive on offense. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. 83 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. This second and four. Tua sets up to pass it. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. the handoff this is Mostert and he'll work this forward for about three at second down from the 38 now here's second down and seven here's tongue of Ilo to throw and he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 37-yard line. A give left side. Here's A-Chan. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. And a nice gain of 21 yards. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Mostert is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Again, it's Mostert, and he's going to lose yardage again as he is stuck behind the line. That 
second down play, and that's a minus four. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. And it's caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. Braxton Berrios with his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now up to 14. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. And out come the Chiefs now. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That went into the hands of Tony downfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there. 26 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven. From midfield, here's Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Mahomes firing complete. And he's gonna get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's gonna be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and the Dolphins force the turnover. They'll take over at the 10. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 from back at their own 10 yard line. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. And this one is gonna be off the mark, too far out in front. 
He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Now a second and ten. Now Tua. Now a quick throw there is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and ten. Here's Tua. And the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Here's James returning. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And a good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. And here, down two scores, you've still got some time, but you've got to start thinking about preserving the clock when you can. And that's a nice job to secure the football, pick up the first down, and get out of bounds. First and 10, it's Edwards Allaire with it. And he stopped immediately there. Christian Wilkins there defensively for the stop. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. They're going to hurry back to the line now. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Dolphins are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance at victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly, and what a benefit for them, able to pick that one off and hopefully put this game away. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. 
got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left, as they call the timeout defensively. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Once again, it's Mostert. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the counter with Mostert and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings up third down and this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here partner and there's no other way to put it the defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game has to you said big third down I'd put the word big in capital letters here throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here this is caught by Waddle, and he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. With that last completion, CD, he's now over 400 yards passing in the game, and quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a good more than capable of torching a secondary any week is evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. Partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.